Now, whatever we've covered so far, you've covered up gain, attenuation, attenuation per unit length. You should know that your gain and attenuation together equal one. So gain plus attenuation equals one, which means if you have calculated the gain, you can do one minus gain and you can get the attenuation. Now, as you know that in your transmission lines, you've got noise as well. So there's a ratio which is called the signal to noise ratio. Basically, signal to noise ratio, kya karti? it's a measure of signal strength relative to background noise. So for example, um, it's a very important thing like aap apne speakers ko on karo and don't play anything on them, turn them to full volume. You will hear a hissing sound. Kuch bhi na play karo, ek hissing sound aegi. That's noise. That's called white noise. Aap ki ghar mein khamoshi ho, aapko apne fridge ki ek awaz nazar sunai deti hai. Nazar sunai sunai deti hai. That sound is noise. So, when you say signal to noise ratio, which, which that means, ki agar aap bol rahe ho, kitchen mein, to aap ki signal ki kya strength hai over that noise. You understand so if you say that your signal to noise ratio for example your snr is 120 decibels to uska matab ye hai that your signal is 120 decibels above your noise do you understand so when they give you a ratio like this and they say that snr is 120 decibels uska matlab ye hota hai that your signal is 120 decibels above the noise it's a ratio. SNR ka formula is 10 log power of signal over power of noise. Power of signal is what is coming from the mic. For example, I mic mein record kar So a mic jo signal generate kar hai, uski jo power, that's power of signal. Or just wire mein ye signal transmit hoga, us wire mein noise add hogi. So 10 log power of signal over power of noise. So both sorry, audio devices pay yeah, electronic devices pay you're given these things or these ratios. Have a look SNR margin the link routers open SNR margin attenuation output power. So all of these things that you are studying, they're all very relevant. Like SNR margin is 281 decibels downstream. So this means that the power level of your downstream signal is 281 decibels higher than the noise in that downstream. This is the 298 upstream. The power level of the upstream signal is 298 decibels higher than the noise in that upstream. So basically, the higher the SNR, the higher this ratio, Joe's cancer, the higher that number, the better the signal quality because that's how high you will be over the background noise. So, if 120 decibels, hai, that means you're 120 decibels above background noise. If it's 280 decibels, that means you're 280 decibels above noise. So, the higher you get, the better it gets. So, for systems, what we do is we always define a minimum acceptable level. So, in your questions as well, you will always be given a minimum acceptable level. That varies from device to device, instrument to instrument. So the minimum acceptable SNR will always be given to you in the question. So sometimes what they'll do, what they'll do is they'll give you, they'll give you a question and they'll say there's a mic and that mic is connected to a wire, of course, and that wire goes into your mixer or decoder. And they say, calculate what is the maximum power loss in the cable which is acceptable so calculate the maximum loss in the cable which is acceptable so here you'll have to do two things number one you'll have to calculate the actual snr and number two you will look at what is the minimum SNR which is given in the question. The minimum SNR level is always given. You can't calculate what the minimum level is. The minimum level will always be given. So actual SNR, you calculate kering using this formula. Minimum SNR will be given in the question. You will subtract them. You will do 1 minus 2, which is actual 
minus the minimum possible SNR or the minimum acceptable SNR. And what you will get is the maximum loss that is acceptable. Ye wo loss hai jo aap kar sakte hai because you cannot go below this minimum SNR level. So what's the level that you can drop to? You can drop to this level. So it's like you're at this level and they're asking you how much this is your current position. They're asking you how much loss are you ready to bear? You have to decide that I cannot go below this level. So what is the maximum loss that you can bear? This is the maximum loss that you can bear. Just subtract the two levels and say my current level minus the minimum acceptable level is the acceptable loss to me. So I'll repeat, agar wap se poochta hai ke what is your maximum acceptable loss, you'll say, I'm currently at this level. This is the minimum level I can get to. I cannot go below this. So the maximum loss I'm ready to bear is this one. So this acceptable loss will be the maximum acceptable loss. They can ask you that in the question. And how will you do that? You will calculate what is your current SNR. You will look at what is your minimum acceptable SNR. And then when you subtract them, you will get your maximum acceptable loss. And in terms of signals, this is the maximum acceptable attenuation. Is ko maximum acceptable attenuation is like here because someone in Koshish Karo, ke abhi aapka SNR bhot achha hai. The signal that you have is very strong. But jab aap minimum level pe aajo ge, to aapka signal kam zor hoga, signal ki strength kam hogi. To ye reduction in signal power hai na, is liye acceptable loss ko hum acceptable attenuation ka naam deyate hai. So when you take the difference between your current SNR and your minimum acceptable SNR, you get the mass maximum loss that is acceptable. Or in other words, you can get your maximum acceptable attenuation because this loss means loss in power. So that is attenuation. Now let's do a question. So we have a mic and that mic is connected to a wire. It's wire can there, there will be power loss. Now, They've given this data that wires attenuation per unit length is 12 decibel per kilometer. The noise in this wire is 3.4 in terms of minus nine watts. The microphone signal, hint, hint, signal power is 2.9 micro watts. Calculate the maximum length of the cable so that the minimum SNR is 24. What did I say? system ka minimum SNR wo dega. So usne aapko minimum SNR bata diya. Usne ke diya ji ye 24 decibels hai. First of all, what should you do? You should calculate what is your actual SNR, actual level aapka kya hai. You'll do 10 log power of signal over power of noise. So you'll do 10 log of power of signal, which is 2.9 into 10 is to power minus six, divided by power of noise, which is 3.4 into 10 is to power minus nine. Calculate please. So you get 29.3 decibels. They say if you were doing the calculation and when if you calculated this thing, you would have realized that that number is around 850. It's a huge number. So what log lene say decibel me jane se kya hota hai, the number becomes more manageable. So right now, this is my actual SNR. I am 29 decibels above noise. But this is my actual. Ye wo hai jaha mein khada baun. Ab what is my minimum acceptable SNR? The minimum acceptable SNR is 24 decibels, right? So that means that this is my minimum level. This is where I am. This is my current and this is the minimum acceptable level. So what is the maximum loss that I can bear? What do I do with the two numbers? I subtract them. I end up getting 5.3 decibels as the maximum loss that I can bear in this wire. So this wire mein mera actual level is 29.3. The minimum SNR that I need 24 decibels above noise I have to be that according to this question. So the maximum loss that I can bear in this wire is 5.3 decibels. So wo kehta hai, what is the length of this wire? If this is the maximum loss that you can bear. 
maximum loss aapko malum hai is also the maximum attenuation that you can have in this wire so maximum attenuation is 5.3 decibels your attenuation per unit length is 12 decibels agar aap kehte hain ki ji yahan se ye ke yahan tak jo meri attenuation hai wo 5.3 decibels hai and i am ready to lose 12 decibels on each kilometer to main kitne kilometer ki ye length रख सकता हूं सो लेट्स यूज रेशोज अब रेशोज में हम क्या करेंगे हम कहेंगे जी कि क्वेश्चन कह रहा है कि ये जो वायर है इसके अंदर अटेनुएशन होती है 12 डेसिबल्स की फॉर एवरी वन किलोमीटर तो अगर मुझे डेसिबल्स 5.3 डेसिबल की अटेनुएशन चाहिए तो वो लेंथ कितनी होगी यू कैन सिंपली डू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड यू कैन डू फाइव into 1 and 12 into x and you can get the value of x as 5.3 divided by 12 which will give you 0.442 for example kilometers jiska matlab ye hai that my length can be 442 meters this is the length that i can bear provided that my minimum snr is 24 decibels अब आप अगर अपना मिनिमम एस एन आर को ट्वेंटी फोर डेसीबल से और नीचे करेंगे तो ये लेंथ जाहिर ज्यादा हो सकती है सो so ट्राई कर लेते हैं सेम क्वेश्चन ए ऑल पैरामीटर्स आर द सेम द सेम वायर विद द सेम वायर पर एटेनुएशन पर यूनिट लेंथ कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम लेंथ ऑफ द केबल सो दैट द मिनिमम लेवल इज नाउ ट्वेंटी डेसीबल इसका मतलब क्या है आपका पहले जो लेवल था फॉर यूअर हेयर आपका लेवल नहीं चेंज हुआ आपका लेवल था 29.3 decibels का जो पहला आपने सवाल किया उसमें यू वर रेडी टू कम डाउन टू 24 फोर डेसिबल्स सो दिस वॉज योर मिनिमम एक्सेप्टेबल मैंने ये आपको प्रपोज किया दैट इफ़ यू डिसाइड टू लोअर योर मिनिमम एक्सेप्टेबल लेवल टू 20 डेसिबल्स तो आप वायर की लेंथ ज़्यादा कर सकते हैं बिकॉज आप जितनी वायर की लेंथ ज़्यादा करेंगे उसमें उतना ज़्यादा मैक्सिम लॉस होगा सो विद दिस बिगर मैक्सिमम acceptable loss you can have a longer wire let's check so let's calculate what are what is our maximum acceptable loss now so our maximum acceptable loss slash maximum acceptable attenuation is going to be 29.3 minus 20 decibels because that's my minimum snr that is 20 this is my actual and this is my minimum snr so the maximum acceptable loss turns out to be 9.3 decibels ab sawal ye 9.3 decibels is wire mein humne yahan se lekar yahan tak lose karne hai to ye nikal de ki ji wire ki length kitni ho sakti hai so for every 1 kilometer i use i lose 12 decibels har 1 kilometer ke liye i lose 12 decibels तो 9.3 पॉइंट थ्री डेसिबल्स कितने किलोमीटर में लूज होंगे x सो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई कर दें 12x एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन और x की आपकी वैल्यू जो आएगी दैट विल बी 9.3 पॉइंट थ्री डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व विच इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेवन फाइव किलोमीटर्स विच इज ऑब्वियसली सेवन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव मीटर्स तो अब आपका जो सिग्नल है वो ज्यादा लंबा ट्रैवल कर सकता है ज्यादा लंबी वायर में ट्रैवल कर सकता है बट डिस्टेंस बढ़ाने का नुकसान आपको क्या हुआ है डिस्टेंस बढ़ाने का नुकसान आपका ये हुआ है दैट योर लॉस हैज इंक्रीज विच इज वाई इफ यू एवर यूज लॉन्गर वायर्स देर मोर लॉसी एज कंपेयर टू शॉर्टर वायर्स छोटी वायर्स में नुकसान कम होता है पावर का बड़ी वायर में नुकसान ज्यादा होता है वायर का एच केबल की एग्जाम्पल ले लो सो अ शॉर्टर एच केबल वुड ऑलवेज हैव लेस लॉस एंड अ लॉन्गर एच केबल विल हैव मोर लॉस और आपको वीडियो क्वालिटी में नजर आता है 